Hey guys, tonight I'm playing a casual up in San Francisco at the Four Seasons Hotel. What is a casual? A casual is basically uh, either a corporate event or maybe a wedding that is usually about four hours, sometimes three hours, and it consists of probably playing some dinner jazz where you're gonna play some standards for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe a longer depending on how long the event is. And then you, you, you break into some dance music. So depending on the band, the dance music could be top 40 stuff, it could be jazz stuff, it could be a big band, um, it could be pop, funk, or a combination of all this stuff, maybe in some country, I don't know. And I've done casuals with jazz duos, jazz trios, brass quartets, brass quintets, big bands, funk groups, pop groups, big band groups. I think I just said that. Um, so they're all they're all different, and that that's what I like to do. I like to keep it keep it keep it different. I'll, I'll do it with some salsa groups too. So I've already warmed up at home for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then I took a, a, an hour or two off, and then I like to re-warm up in the car. I use this tuning fork when I'm buzzing so I can get a pitch. do some long tones. It's hard to set your armature sometimes when you're bouncing around. Got this pocket trumpet. I think I bought it on eBay for a hundred bucks. Um, I couldn't play it on a gig. It's it's pretty pretty unplayable. But for warming up purposes, it does the trick. So I basically have two freeway options driving to the city, and driving from San Jose takes me with no traffic. Today's Saturday, so it's probably going to take me an hour ish to get there. But if you look around, you would never know this is the San Francisco Bay Area. Freeway 280 is gorgeous, and uh, it's a nice day today. Got your cows. We're almost in Palo Alto, Menlo Atherton. Warming up in the car can be quite difficult because you're bouncing around. You gotta make sure you don't hurt yourself. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing, driving wise. And I'm still unclear of whether or not it's illegal. But if you think about it, if you're a smoker, which I'm not, 
you're smoking like this, you're driving with one hand. Apparently, I think the law is if smoking or drinking in the car, playing your trumpet, causes you to have an accident, then you're going to be liable for that accident. However, I am not really sure of the legality of playing your trumpet or your pocket trumpet for that matter one-handed in the car so you might want to double check that before you get arrested we're coming up to my favorite part of the drive there's this descent into uh, a valley here and there's a really pretty reservoir that I, I pass by and it, it, it looks like something out of something you might see when you're in Norway or uh, uh, Switzerland or something. It's, it's usually pretty green here. We've had a lot of rain and you got to check this out. And now for the toughest part, parking. Parking can be an issue. It's, uh, it's always a matter of a couple things. Price on parking garages. How late does the garage stay open? Because I've heard horror stories. The gig gets over at, I don't know, you know, midnight or one. By the time you're done packing or whatever, you get to the garage at one or one thirty or even two just to find that the garage is closed until the following evening which is going to be a total nightmare i think garages are are safer to park as far as your your car and your stuff is concerned i mean of course you don't want to leave anything in your car or at least anything you don't mind parting with no way found a spot on the street or I can probably park for two hours until 6 p.m. Let me see what the situation is. Let's see if I have good parking karma today. Today is my lucky day. I get to park on the street. This part of town is the... Um, it's just outside the financial district, which is fine. I can park here. It's a four hour time limit. So what I'm gonna do is I put enough time in to get me till 6 p.m. and it's free after that, so. be shot for the gig. Mid-January, this is about as nice a day it's going to get in San Francisco. Feels like a summer day.
tape. Sometimes the best thing you can have in your bag, besides your horn, is tape for charts that used to be taped or need to be taped.